Hey everybody, Tammy Talks here. Okay, y'all got me with, with, with Big Brother, okay? I am hooked. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of mad that it comes on so many times a week, but I'm, I'm hooked. So let's go ahead and get into tonight's recap. All right, so if you are brand new to my channel, I do breakdowns of various TV shows, including reality and scripted TV shows, with my own thoughts, opinions, and theories. So it's not just your typical recap of scene by scene. If you enjoy that type of content, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed tonight's video, and let's hop into the comment section, because I'm going to need y'all help with Big Brother, okay? So like I said in my last video, this is my first time watching the show, um... So I don't really know how strategies and stuff are going to work, but I'm going to just use my own common sense through this recap, all right? So Misha admits that she does not have a game plan just yet, and I, I feel that. So she's talking to NSYNC Chris, Chris NSYNC, and he, oh, I'm sorry, NSYNC from, um, NSYNC from Chris. Chris from NSYNC knows that he has to stay on her good side because she is head of household. So Misha goes and talks to Tadric about building an alliance. So Misha says she wants to get all the athletic people together. So she picks Tadric and I was like, maybe because he dances. Okay. But she wants Tadric and she wants Lamar. Lamar was walking by. They bring Lamar into the fold. So now we have the athletes alliance, right? So we have Misha, Tadric, and Lamar. So we see Mariah and Teddy, and they're in the showers, and they ask Tadric to be in their alliance. So they ask him if he's in an alliance um, yet. He flat out says no. Lies straight through, his, straight through his teeth to their face. So they're geeked. Cool. Let's get into an alliance with y'all. So they also mention wanting to ask Cynthia. So everybody's dressed and everything. We're meeting up in the room. So Cynthia's in there. They asked Cynthia, are you in an alliance yet? Cynthia's old ass was like, yeah, I'm in an alliance with Todrick and, um, and Carson. And I'm like, Cynthia, Lord have mercy. Even I know, even I know that you don't tell who you're in an alliance with. Ooh, child. And Todrick kind of looked up at her like, I know this half because that's what I would have been doing. So Todrick kind of looks up and I was, I just knew that Mariah or um, Teddy was going to hear or like take notice what Cynthia said, but it just went right over the head, y'all, unless they're keeping it in the tuck for, you know, for future, future reference. So now they are all in an alliance together. Mariah wants to make sure that she gets at least six or seven people in an alliance because that monopolizes the group. So then she um, wants to join she wants to join uh, Cynthia's alliance with Thomas the Gays and the Gals Alliance. So, Todrick is so excited that he's in all these alliances. And I'm like, you know, that's really not good. Because when it comes time for you to veto somebody or when you have to make a decision, he'll let everybody think you're their friend. I, I don't think that's the right move, Todrick, but I guess... So the guys in the gays, I mean, the guy, the girls in the gays alliance has formed with Teddy and um, Mariah, and they are now formation, okay? So we see a scene where Chris Kattan can't sleep because Todd Bridges is snoring. Todd is sleep. <laughs> sleep, 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 sleep. And Chris Kattan said it sounds like two elephants giving birth at the same time. The way that them beds are, there, it's too small for me, too close quarters for me. I grew up with a brother. I never had to share a room. I never had um, a roommate. I live alone. So I can't fathom being in a bed like that close. Like your bed is right here. It's way too close for me. So they're talking about tattoos the next morning. Lamar is saying how he has a tattoo on his chest of his son. And then Ty Bridges shows this old janky backyard underground tattoo. And he said that he was drunk when he got it. So don't worry about it. I was drunk when I got it. So Tadric is um, in the room with Lamar. And he asks him, did he ever think that they would be there and hit it off? Lamar said, well, I didn't even know you was going to be here. So no. But Lamar tells him that he does wish that his um, ex-wife was there. He wished Chloe was there. He misses her. He knows that he messed up 
in their marriage. I think Lamar cheated on her, right? Or he couldn't get off drugs. He messed up. And he's just saying how he apologizes to the family because, you know, they, they were really down for him, for him. He embarrassed them. And he just really wishes that he could get Chloe back. Cynthia comes in with Shayna. And Lamar starts talking about how he met Chloe at a, a party in L.A. It was like Ron Artest, welcome to L.A. party. And then they got married 30 days later. So we have Chris from NSYNC and Misha, and they're talking about being in an alliance. So she tells him that she wants to bring Chris, she wants to bring him into the athletic alliance. So she tells Todrick. Todrick got the audacity to be like, okay, why is Chris in there? Todrick, and I, I mean, I get it, you dance, sweetheart, but let's not act like you would be any more athletic than Chris. Y'all are both dancers. Y'all both dance. Um, I do not like Todrick. I do not like Todrick. I recognize Todrick for what he has done. Um, he's extremely talented and all that good stuff, but I do not like Todrick. So why is it Mariah? Why wasn't she originally targeted for the Athlete Alliance? She's a whole Olympic out here, a whole Olympian, whole Olympic winner out here. But okay, Misha, I feel like Misha just don't know what she's doing. I feel Misha don't know what the hell she's doing. So they, they're up in Misha's room, and Misha thinks that Chris Kattan can be a safety net. Um, she wants to go She wants to go after Teddy. She sees Teddy as a threat. She sees Teddy as a target because she, th she knows that Teddy knows the game. I think Teddy said that she is like a huge um, big, bro big Brother fan anyways. So she wants to get her out. But Misha is worried that Teddy is going to backdoor her at some point. Well, well, yeah, you should be worried. Because when she tried to make the same deal with you that Tadric did, for whatever reason, you turned her down. For whatever reason, you turned her down. And it wasn't even like you kind of did it in private. Girl, you basically said yes to Tadric and then turned your head and told her no all in the same breath. I just feel like that made absolutely, absolutely no sense for Misha to do that. I, I thought that was dumb. I thought that was so dumb. So they all gather in the living room because they're going to open up the that, um, that gala gift that they got, which is going to be a gift and a curse for someone. So, <clears throat> so they get told that whoever wins one of the, um, whoever wins the gift from Mon Juan, who has done like some of the other costumes and stuff for the, the show um, ends up being untouchable for the week. And it ends up being a Mon Juan purse hat. And the way that it goes is Misha's going to pick who gets the hat first. Every person that gets the hat, um, and whoever's the last person to get the hat, they're like passing it, you know, one to one to one. Whoever's the last person is safe and untouchable for the week, so they cannot be sent home. So it starts with Misha giving a hat to Chris from NSYNC. Because she thought that he was going to give it to Teddy. Girl, you could have just gave it to Teddy. But she thought that he was going to give it to Teddy off rip. And I kind of feel like Chris ain't really in the alliance with you that good, that good. You probably should have started off with giving it to Todrick. So it goes from Chris Kattan, from Chris in sync to Chris Kattan, to Ty Bridges, to Teddy, to Lamar. Now, while this is going on, Carson leans over and starts talking strategy to Tadric. <laughs> and Tadric was like, if you don't stop talking to me about this right now. So then it goes from Lamar to Carson, from Carson to Tadric, from Tadric to Mariah. And then Mariah has to pick between Shayna or Cynthia. Um, she ends up ultimately picking Shayna. So that means that Cynthia is safe for the entire week. Go ahead, 50 cents. Um, so then Carson and everyone is kind of, you know, everybody's excited for Cynthia. And then we find out that even if you aren't nominated, you can still be going home this week because there's going to be another twist and turn. So now everybody is still shook because why do we do this whole damn game if, you know, everybody's still up for grabs? Really, aside from Misha and Cynthia, those are the only two that we know for sure can't go home this week. So Misha brings Mariah up to her room. And this is when I knew for sure Misha didn't know what she was doing. So she brings Mariah up to her room and talks to her about joining the Athlete Alliance, okay? 
says that she feels that Mariah is a strong competitor. Mariah is all smitten and excited. Oh, you think I'm strong? Okay, yes, you're an Olympian. Of course you're strong. So, she lists that Tadric is in an alliance with her already. And I want I want Mariah to start paying attention because this is the second person that has told you that Tadric is in an alliance with them. You're not paying attention. This is the second person that has told you that Mariah is, in the, I mean, that Tadric is in an alliance with them after he told you he wasn't in an alliance. So she tells her that she wants to put up um, Chris Kattan and Todd to go home. But then she tells her that she wants to put up Teddy if she has the power of veto and backdoor her to get her out. So she asked Misha, would you be willing to go up on the block as a pawn so that I can backdoor her? And I said, wow. On top of the fact I caught it, like I rewinded it to catch something else. And Misha told her, do you want to join my alliance for the week? Not for good, but for the week. So Misha, you really just tried to play Mariah because you wanted her to be a pawn for you so that you can get rid of Teddy. I don't think I like you, Mariah. I mean, I don't think I like you, Misha. I think you, I don't think I like you, girl. So Mariah runs her ass right to Teddy and tells her what she heard. Why, of course? Because they're in an alliance together. So Teddy goes and Teddy tells Tadric what Mariah said about Misha wanting to backdoor her. Tadric then feels that if Mariah is gonna go and tell me and go and tell on Misha, she'll go and tell on everybody because she's head of household. So then Tadric, who is judging Mariah for telling, runs and does the same thing and carries his ass over to Misha and tells on Teddy and Mariah. This is going to have me stressed. I can feel it. The show is going to have me so stressed because it is so much going on. Lord have mercy. So Teddy and Misha are talking. Teddy's working out in the gym. And Teddy tells Misha, look, if you don't put me up, I'm going to put you up when that time comes around too. Um, and Misha was like, well, how long into the game is that good for? Teddy said, I mean, for a couple of weeks, I got you. And I feel like it's a good deal because you know that Teddy is a threat. So if you like, you know that Teddy is the threat. So taking her out right away is not going to be easy. It's going to be kind of stupid. So what she needs to do is work with her for a week or two and then try to, you know, work something to get her out. But Misha, ugh, and it could, maybe it's me. You know, like I said, I don't know the game. Maybe it's me. So Teddy said um, that you can trust her. I'm not going to cross you. If I tell you I'm not going to put you up, I'm not going to put you up. Misha feels that she can trust her. And then she's now wondering, should she target Mariah or should she tar uh, target Teddy? I said, Mariah, you done got yourself on the chopping block, girl. Got yourself on the cho chopping block. I understand wanting to stay true to your alliances, but you was running that mouth a little too much. Because at the end of the day, it's all for self, right? So Misha goes to Carson, tells him that she's going to use him as a pawn. Point blank. I'm going to use you as a pawn. You're likable. And then I'm going to put someone else up on the block with you. You're not going to get voted off because we all like you. He was like, thanks. Like, okay. And I see she learned her lesson. So at, she didn't tell Carson who she was targeting. She just told Carson he would be one of the people and for him not to worry. Now, what happens if everybody likes Mariah a little bit better because she's in more alliances? And then what do you do? Misha. So we get to the um, nomination ceremony and we find out that she is putting up Mariah and Carson. And then Mariah looks shocked. You shouldn't be. The head of household told you something and then here you go running and telling that person right away. Unless Mariah, unless Mariah still thought that she was going to put Teddy up for nomination. But this is I want Misha to go home. <laughs> I want Misha to go home, y'all. This is Miss Celebrity Big Brother, um, season three, episode two. Y'all let me know. Am, am I looking at this wrong? 
Because I'm thinking of alliances in the same way that when I used to watch like the real world challenge. That's how I'm thinking of alliances and how you should finesse them and work them. But I feel like Misha, I feel like she got the game wrong. But maybe it's me. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, hop in the comment section. Let's talk about this, y'all.